What I've not quite heard is whether or not there is a solution to the peculiarities of electioneering in a place like the Niger Delta. Can anybody offer anything in if, that regard? If, if, you, if you look at the uh, Electoral Act that has been sent to the, the amended one that has been sent to the president for his accent, when you know that no matter how many ballot boxes you carry, no matter how many guns you shoot, once you know that accreditation, voting and everything is, uh, is, uh, 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 is, is electronic, when you know that no matter how many uh, uh, ballot boxes you snatch, it's, it's, it's um, useless. So until we are begging the president, sign the Electoral Act as amended on your table. Once you sign it, accreditation, uh, voting, once the process is electronic, even the transmission of results from polling booth to INEC, once it is automatic, see, yeah. the violence will reduce. If you want to reduce violence, go that way. Well, Mr. Shade, <laughs> I, I had to double check this uh, mm. because I thought I saw it before I came on, but it was published on the 10th of January this year that INEC has successfully prosecuted 61 mm. electoral offenders from, uh, as a result of the 2015 general election. So, okay. just to put that down. No, 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 no. If they've done that, one, see, we are, we are, me, I am Success. personally in support and I thank them for that. Now, can we do those? Yeah, that have so let, let's bring now, in uh, Honorable now, um, the, the Mr. Chamberlain, I, I made a postulation here a while ago and I said that he was throttling up, you know, figures that were not factual and you have just proper proven it. Now, but to go, go back to um, the issue on ground. Um, for us to be able to cleanse the system would be a gradual thing. And, and if you see all the by-elections we've had, all, there were no, there were no issue of violence up north. Most of the violent issues we've had in the by-elections we've seen since APC came on board, we're mostly in the southern region. And it, it, it is just very simple well, to okay. allude to. I, I'm just wondering because, you know, um, even if there's violence in one state, one locality, it's, a, it's an issue that should be addressed. Yeah, I Because agree. there are concerns about the forthcoming election. So many are concerned. They don't want their, their children, core members, who are going to be deployed as ad hoc, ad hoc staff in harm's way when these elections come through. So, concerning security specifically, what would your recommendations be to ensure that uh, they are not getting pointed at as the problem for the elections? Uh, I know that the IGP is, uh, is on top of the game, and he's been doing very well as far as electoral issues are concerned. Uh, because all the ele elections that has been conducted under his his, um, his time has been seen to be properly policed. Sometimes where people will shout yeah, of over-policing. No, but you know that uh, the, the people have been talking about, uh, now I think in rivers they're talking about SARS, uh, because what, what INEC says is, look, they, they've got this intelligence committee, security committee, of which they have different security agencies, and mm -hmm. SARS is not one of them. Mm -hmm. So they question who is SARS answerable to is that an issue you think should be addressed? Of course, it is an issue that should be. I mean, if, if you see what, what um, the vice president did just a, 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 a couple of weeks ago, a week or so ago, you know, trying to reorganize us, you should see that this is a concern to the present government. And, and as I'm speaking to you, and I know that the, this issue of evolving or mutualization of um, elections have been discussed at the highest level of this good governance. And of course, with time, but you're going to see, the, you know, but, but the point I want to make here, the point I want to make here is that there is no system that is perfect. These are some of the imperfections we're seeing. And I agree, I agree. There are some jobs that need to be done. And I, and I will say here, with all purpose, that this government will ensure that that aspect of the electoral system you, is handled and properly handled. Are you of the view that enough is being done to stamp out political thuggery in our elections? Uh, I see your smile, it resonates I, with you. Yes, that, that because that was one of the major uh, factors that made me left by the PDP years ago. 
the issue of thuggery. I mean, we'll be in, in meetings and this issue of arming boys, but to go and disrupt a elections came up and I said, no, this is not how it should be. This is not how it should be. So I have always been against that. I've always been against that. Yes, elections is war. But the war here is not of arms. Can you yeah, say, the war here is war. Can, can you can the you, war here is war yeah, but and for, ideology. You know, you have uh, uh, contested elections, yes, so you I have am. a unique position on that one. Yeah. Can you say that you've ever won any elections you've won without the help of political thugs? Um, I can say, I can say with all honesty, that I have never, I have never discussed with any one soul on earth. But have they, help have they helped you, whether you discuss with them or not, to well, your knowledge? Well, uh, yeah, but you see, uh, in this process, it, it is like but the religion we, we practice in this country. It, it is like the religion we practice. There are, there are some followers who, who get over zealous. There are some followers who want to prove that, look, they are really for you. What did you so, do to rein them in? Of course. When you learned oh, about Of course. Once I get such reports, I call them to order. That is what we do in APC. We don't allow toggery. No, it's a matter of... Do, I, I, think, I think we're doing a disservice to the conversation to continue to suggest that it has to do with whether you're PDP or APC when we know that all politicians, not all politicians, but politicians from all parties are using these, uh, these thugs. Please, um, let me quickly correct something he said. Briefly, because we need to get... Yeah, to, uh, he said uh, that uh, I came to ban the wrong figures. I didn't. I said since they came on board, which is 2015 to today, so the research you did actually supports my assertion, please. I do not come on okay. national TV to say lies. Right. Now, talking about talking, uh, yes, every party, every party engages in it. And the only way, actually when we started this conversation, we talked about building institutions away from politicians until we have a police force that will arrest in the talk of a, of a president. That can arrest the talk of a, of, a, of a governor until we have that police force that is totally cut away from the politicians. We will not make any headway. Mm. Dr. Samuel, do you, are you concerned? Because uh, can a gentleman, maybe in your party, go in and win the election without thuggery? Yes, uh, it is possible. But you've not done it before, though. No, I've not done it before. Uh, but that, that, I mean, I left the comfort of my home, of my business, of my profession to step into the political space because I and a group of others are tired of what is happening in Nigeria. Okay. We don't want to be celebrating Togri or okay. this person does it more than the others. We want a, a, a new Nigeria where anybody can we'll get, aspire to be. We'll get your point. Yeah. I'm afraid we need to go. Dr. Jay Samuel is a former national chairman of ANN. That's the uh, Alliance for New Nigeria. Right uh, on his left uh, is uh, Mr. Shield Wanzura, who is a national coordinator of the Good Governance Group of the PDP. And then, Honorable Ajidi Iwo is a member of the APC. Gentlemen, thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you, thank you very much.